Did you know you could be doing any multiple things at the same time with any Flex 6000 series radio? And I'm going to show you that even if you own a Flex 6300 or 6400, you can be on two things at the same time really enjoying what's going on in the band. And today as 10 meters is really starting to explode, and this will be the same for 6, it's going to be important to be on FT4 and FT8 at the same time, just in case you're trying to track something down or you don't want to miss it. So, how are we going to do that? So let's have a look. So this is a widescreen uh, presentation. Hopefully you're able to see it. But uh, we're going to, I'm going to focus on a couple of things here. So let's have a look first. Over here on Smart SDR, we're going to see that I have uh, two slices open. One's on 28074 and one's on 28180. This is the FT4 frequency and this is the FT8 frequency. I'm going to, uh, right now I don't have any chan audio channels aside, but we'll come back to that. And I have Slice Master open. Slice Master ha has to have worked before or been set up. We have other videos regarding that. I've got DAX here. So watch what happens. I'm going to assign channel 1 on Slice A, on VFO A, to uh, channel 1. And uh, Slice Master is going to detect that, and then it's going to start, uh, in my case, WSJT, or it might not. I think I've got it start to ne set to, um, it's got set to never, as you see here. And, uh, and that's fine by me, because I actually want to manually start them. So we will uh, turn off that, and we're going to click JTDX. And it's going to start JTDX for me. Uh, on uh, 28074, uh, I'm going to get rid and close the waterfall in behind because I really don't need it. Look down here, I'm set to FT8, and we see that we have audio streaming coming from one channel through to the other. And we'll decode that on the next cycle, and look at that, we get a whole bunch of DX. Cool. So now I'm going to go back to Slice Master, and this means um, VFOB. Because I'm using a 6600, I have four. If you had a 67, you'll have eight. If you have a 63 or a 64, it will only show two. So let's do the same thing uh, over here. I'm going to slide way over to the right here on Slice Master, and it says none. Uh, we're going to now make that channel 2. That's DAX audio channel 2. We'll see now we have audio here. Perfect. And next we're going to make sure we're on slice B. And we're going to hit JTDX. And that's going to start, start up JTDX on uh, slice B. Um, we'll get rid of, uh, we're just going to hide slice master. Don't close it. I'm going to I delete the waterfall here because I really don't need it. And uh, we'll see now we have two streams here. And I'm just going to minimize that and pull this over here so we can see it. We're on mode FT8. Oh, so that's not going to decode anything. That's okay. We're going to go mode FT4. Close this again. We have audio streaming here. And we have audio streaming here and you'll see in a second that we're going to start getting decodes from both sides uh, a minute ago i was had no problem seeing uh new zealand uh, u.s virgin islands whole bunch of uh saint martin whole bunch of different countries so that's just the power of using two slices and using slice master to do that and by the way, if you read the Slice Master Manual, do you know that here in, uh, I happen to use Ham Radio Deluxe as my logbook, and I'm just going to connect and show my spots, which is really handy to me. But look, at, look in um, on the frequency here, or up here, and if you're a Ham Radio Deluxe user, it can actually connect to Slice Master to get any frequencies you want. Uh, and... Uh, well, which is just really handy so that when I double click on a on a QSO, it just uh, nicely works. So I'm just going to shrink that so I don't need to see it right now. I just look at it once in a while. And now we're getting a whole bunch of spots on both FT4 and FT8. Now, many of you figured this out already, but for those of you that you ha have not, give it a try. 
don't worry, you can't break anything. Just just know that you've got to have your VFOs, one on DAX 1 over here, one on DAX 2, and uh, then on DAX again, they need to be enabled, and, J and Slice Master will handle opening both. And how do I know if I need a country? I'm not going to go into this right now, but I actually use a tool called Grid Tracker, and if anything comes up here where I uh, need it, it will actually pop up. Let's just turn this on. And I have it tracking DXCC uh, for me. Um, but in my case, it uh, will show you uh, what's going on and actually gets the signals from both receivers at the same time. Again, beyond the scope of this presentation, but uh, Grid Tracker has the ability to hear things from multiple um, programs like JTDX and whatever. Hope that gives you an idea about how to get going on two or more slices using a Flex Radio 63, 64, 65, 66, or 67, and using Slice, Man Slice Master to manage those connections. 73, I'm Mike, VA3MW. Take care.